Come comfy, Jesse. Hmm? You comfy? <laughs> you flicky. Oh, look, you so happy. Yeah, you smiling. <laughs> Whoa. guys there <laughs> what's up guys Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV I hope you are excited for today's video I've gone to the effort the extra effort to schedule it for you guys even though I am in said location that you will see on Sunday I hope you are excited it is gonna be a freaking shoulder day my favorite day we're gonna be mixing things up a little bit today which is necessary and there's a few different reasons why but uh, drop a like if you're excited, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, and let's make some gains. Okay, so, as you noticed, straight off the bat, we've mixed things up completely. Have you guys ever seen me do a seated barbell shoulder press? No, not once, not ever, right? And so today, we're gonna to be talking about mixing up your training program, how to do it, when to do it, well, and the reasons why, really. I'm out of breath from that. Right, okay. Reason number one, if you hit a plateau with any of your training, right? This isn't the reason that I am doing it, but it's a reason that you could consider changing things up a little bit, okay? If you are, let's say, benching 50 kilos, you can't get past that 50 kilos for X amount of reps, okay? So maybe consider switching that up to dumbbells. Consider some extra accessory work in there. Just for one week, maybe two weeks tops, right? Maybe even just a session, that's exactly what I'm doing. Just to see if it makes any difference, shock the muscles and then regroup, go back to it next week, stronger, better, both mentally and physically. What you can see here is we have dropped the weight all the way down from 60 to 70 kilos to 50. Not only that, we are also seated. Not only that, we are controlling it down, two, three, four, pause, explode back up, okay? Eight solid reps, but we had to really drop the weight, really focus on that mind to muscle connection, really focus on driving with the shoulders, focusing on the shoulders. We're sat down, we've taken the core out of it. We are literally just, it's just me and the barbell right now, guys, okay? Don't have to focus on anything else, keep my feet on the floor, and boom, explode. Control it on the way back down. It's good, the pump feels good, it's hard. I have a strong shoulder press, it's my strongest lift, and I'm struggling on this. So it's a good, it's a good start. Two, three, four, four, eight. Down, two, three, four, pause. Down, two, three, four, pause. Down, two, three, four, pause. Good, come on, down. This is Adele on BBC Radio 1 and it's time now for a workout mix. Half an hour of back-to-back -back bangers. Let's go. BBC Radio 1. One thing I've been trying lately, right, is rather than putting Spotify on, putting YouTube on for music and stuff, download the BBC Sounds app. Type in Workout Wednesday. If you're a regular viewer of the channel, you will know when I head to work very early on a Wednesday morning, they play these mixes, right? They are top notch, great bangers, great remixes, and I think you won't get copyrighted if it's in the background, I, I hope. Anyway, so. 
give it a go. Let me know what you think. I freaking love it. I just put it on the speakers. You don't need Wi-Fi, anything like that. Let me know what you think. reason you should mix up your workout plan, reason number two, is quite simply because you are bored. Are you bored of what you're doing? Are you bored of flat barbell bench press? Are you bored of barbell shoulder press? Are you bored of chest flies? I, I don't know, are you bored of doing a barbell squat? Like, you know, anything. If you are bored of your routine, which is a very easy possibility, right? Because we do the same things over and over and over again. That's what it takes, right? To progress. That's what it takes. It takes the consistency and it takes the progression, the progressive overload, if you like. That's what we need in order to move forwards. But that can get boring. And so if you are bored of whatever it is that you may be doing, then just change it. Change it for a week, change it for a month, change it for six months. It's plain and simple, guys. If you are bored of something, switch it out because if you don't enjoy it, you're not gonna stick to it. If you don't stick to it, you're not gonna see the progress. And if you're not in the gym because you're not enjoying it, then you're not gonna see any freaking progress because you're not even in the gym in the first place, right? One simple change can make a massive difference to you, how you feel, how you feel physically, how you feel mentally. Give it a go. Don't knock it till you try it. Just switch something out. Try a dumbbell or something, I don't know. Reason number three, the third and final reason why. Another very simple reason, if you are injured. Being injured does not mean you have to completely stop training. Not always, anyway, sometimes you do have to listen to your body. However, in situations like this, like the one that I am in right now, I have a bit of a dodgy knee, right? We've just got this spin bike, it's really annoying because I can't use it properly. I don't know how I did it, whether it was at work or training legs, I honestly don't know. I just have a little twinge in my knee, it really hurts, can't really straighten it, can't really bend it properly. It's just one of those things, little niggles that you pick up on like part along the way, it's just part of the process, right? But that doesn't necessarily mean that I have to stop training upper body altogether, okay? One thing I was worried about, especially today, is shoulder pressing. Um, it's my favourite thing to do, but it worried me a lot, right? Because it involves holding a lot of weight above your head for a sustained period of time. Especially when you lock out, you're holding it there, controlling it on the way back down. It's a lot of pressure just all throughout your body. And to be honest, I let it get in my head a little bit with, with like my kneecaps and, and, and my lower back and stuff like that. I was like, oh, okay, so I'm not quite 100%. I don't want to be holding 60, 70 plus kilos above my head because I, I, I convinced myself that that was going to put pressure on my knee. Um, and which I realise is probably stupid, but I wasn't really willing to take the risk. I have a, a trip coming up next week, the next video that you guys will see. As you guys know, I have a trip coming up and I didn't want to ruin my knee. There's going to be a lot of walking, it's a city break, right? So there's going to be a lot of walking involved in that trip. I didn't then want to ruin that trip by not being able to walk just because I, would my e I let my ego get in the way of my shoulder press, you see? so. I wanted to, I felt the need to, I felt like I had to change my plan just for one day, right? So, I haven't trained legs this week, I've, I've rested my knee completely, one, well, I couldn't, I can't, I still can't really squat properly, uh, to be honest. I'm still kind of funny right now, kind of lopsided, you can't really tell, but kind of not putting the weight down on that leg properly. But that's just how it is for now, right? I, I, it's just how I have to to be for, for the next, I don't know, however long. I'm gonna give it a few more days, hope that it kind of clears up. Um, and I'm hoping that it doesn't flare up whilst I'm away because there, you know, I don't want it to ruin the, the trip because obviously it will involve a lot of walking. Hence the reason why I'm so skeptical about it. But third and final reason, if you are injured, let's say you have a, a shoulder injury, right? Stay away from the bench press, Sh stay away from the barbell shoulder press, dumbbell shoulder press, anything that, any kind of pushing movements, listen to your body. If that shoulder hurts, rest it. 
change the plan ever so slightly, you might be able to do some isolation stuff. You know, go and see a physio, go and see a doctor, something I know, go and see a professional and say, this is my issue, what, what's your thoughts on it? More than likely they'll tell you to rest it and more than likely you'll, you'll want to ignore them, but at least you'll have some kind of idea as to what the problem is, right? I've kind of self-diagnosed myself here and said, right, okay, if you do this, you aren't gonna be able to walk on your holiday. Um, and that's kind of the wrong thing to do. I should have gone to see someone, but you know, it's just, I feel like I'm at a stage now where I know my body well enough. I played rugby a lot when I was a kid, lots of sports. I had my fair share of injuries and I feel like I know in myself, in my body when I need to rest and I feel like this is one of those times. But it doesn't mean I have to not train altogether. I, like I say, I've changed the stuff, I've taken the core out of it. I, I've, take, I've sat down, done my shoulder press like I normally would, but just changed it up so I'm not using as heavy of a weight, I'm not standing up. Little things like that can make a massive difference. Doesn't mean you have to completely stop altogether but you might have to change things ever so slightly. So those can be your three kind of reasons. Um, let me know if you've experienced that or if that goes through your head, a similar kind of mindset down in the comment section. But in the meantime, I've been resting too long. I'm getting cold because it's freaking freezing in here. Let's train. <laughs> Right, scrap that, I've had to take another scheduled break. <laughs> These scheduled breaks are coming quite, uh, quite familiar with the channel. Oh, hello. Quite familiar with the channel, aren't they? Um, I've had to take a break to upload the video that you saw last time, so last Sunday's video. Um, and I'm going to do the YouTube premiere thing. Do you guys actually think that that is worth it? Do you enjoy the YouTube premiere? Do you not care? Um, I'm just kind of experimenting with it because I've been doing kind of regular up uploads for, for a long time now, obviously like two, three years. Um, and this new feature is just something a bit different, um, but I won't do it if you guys don't care about it. And so let me know in the comment section, do you like getting involved with it? Do you like having a chat beforehand when it goes up? Um, or do you not know what it is? Do you not care? Like, let, let me know either way because uh, I'll stop doing it if you guys don't care. Simple as, really. That is some real dedication, you know, taking a break from the gym session itself to upload a video. That is the true life of a YouTuber, especially one that can train at home, use the Wi-Fi and train at the same time. I will keep you guys updated on the whole knee situation. Um, if you're not following my social media, um, my Instagram stuff like, well, my Instagram and YouTube are my two only things really. If you're not following my Instagram, you'll have live updates of where we are going um, and I'll kind of keep you updated on how my, like my knee is and stuff like that. Um, bit good to be honest, bit, bit disappointed that I can't use the new spin bike properly, that I can't train properly because my squats are progressing. I feel like my training was progressing really well, um, but that's just how it is sometimes. Just your body just has its ways of telling you to, to, to slow down. And I think that, you know, this is my body's way of, of telling me to do that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. I think I've said my piece. I'm gonna carry on with my training session and freaking smash it now, put the camera away and just get a sick pump, you know? I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Like I say, I have gone to the effort of scheduling it um, and so I hope you guys will show your support, share it, like it, comment, um, subscribe if you are new because I will not be able to promote it in the same way that I usually can um, when I'm at home and stuff, you know? So. Do me a massive favor, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, it will be much appreciated. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Together, we will grow. I will see you in Dublin. I'm so excited. <laughs>